Hello everyone, and welcome to Retro Brick Reviews, where today we have part two of my video on the on my custom alternate build of Lego Harry Potter set number 75950, Aragog's Lair, which I am calling the Blast Ended Scroot Escape. And um, in part one, I reviewed all parts of this model to show you how it works and what does what and things and stuff. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble each portion of the model. Starting, of course, with the focus of this build, the blast-ended scroot itself. Here are all the pieces you're going to need to build the major skeleton of the blast-ended scroot. And um, to start with, we have... You're going to need to make six of these legs. These are the same design that Aragog had in the actual set. Just the black Exo Force arm, and then the dark brown mandible. Again, you're going to require six of those. So, to start, we'll take a 2 by 3 plate. Then we'll attach on six of these one by one round plates with a hinge coming off of one end. On top of that, we'll put on this... 2x2 two two in tan, and then we'll make a couple of these, just a 1x2 with the ratchet, and then the Aragog eye piece. The idea with that is to just create a bit of fleshy detail for the thing's sort of weak points and soft underbelly. Okay, so we'll set this off to the side for a second. Then we're going to take this astromech droid body piece, the smaller one for, um, Star Wars Rebels, um, that astromech. Anyway, black pin. On the back of here, we're going to just, on the front, actually, derp, we're going to put on a couple more of the Aragog eye pieces, just to create some more fleshy detailing. And here on the front, we'll take this sort of ship's wheel piece, I suppose, a candle flame, and then we'll make two of each of the following sub-assemblies. One by one with clip, brown stud, and a tooth. Make two of those, and then same thing, but bra brown clip, black stud, tooth. Make two of those, and that'll just be for this thing's mouth. So then we can attach these pieces sort of like such, so we get this sort of twisted creepy mouth design with the alternating black and brown. The color changes just because the set only included two Uholi studs in each color. So yeah. And then we'll just attach this onto the front of the scroot. And then on each of these hinges, we'll of course attach on one of the thing's legs. I'm not going to take the time to pose them right now. You can do that yourself if you decide to build this model, of course, that is. So yeah, so here's the scroot. So now let's move on to the shell of the blast-ended scroot. So here's what you're going to need to build the shell of the scroot. To start with, we'll take a 1x2 plate in brown. A dark brown 1x3 curved piece, brown cheese slope, tan 1x1 one one plate, and then a headlight brick, and then make a mirrored version of that so you have two, and then we'll put one on each side of the scroot to cover up the sides of it. It can be a bit difficult if you've already put the legs on, but it can also be difficult to get the legs on if you've already done this. So either way is difficult, but nonetheless, now we have this very upstanding citizen. So now, of course, we'll build the top of the shell. To start with, we'll take two of these sort of 1x2 upside-down curved pieces, connect them with a 1x2. That goes under on the back of and underneath this 4x4 round plate. 
centered lime green 2x2. Two two. Color doesn't matter, I'm just using lime green because it's there. Put on a couple of these sort of 3x4 pieces, curves, multi-curves. Yeah, and then this just goes on as such. So now we have the shell of the beast complete. I'll just work a little with the legs, I suppose, to get this into a bit of a more natural pose, maybe? I mean, this isn't one for natural poses, really. I mean, the scroots in general aren't very natural, but I mean, I guess this is kind of acceptable. But of course we're not done. We also need to build this thing's dangerous tail. So let's get on that. So here's everything you're going to need to build the tail of the scroot. To start off with, you're going to need these two large pieces, which of course form the core of the tail. We'll connect them for the moment at the bottom here with this 1x2 plate. And at the front, we'll put on a couple of these pieces. Okay, then we're going to put on, no, no, this piece with, that's actually two pieces, the, I don't know what you call this, this, anyway. So you take the black Technic brick, sub-assembly time, we'll take this and this and this one by one with the pinhole. Then you have a choice. If you want to make a male scroot, you can put this on to have the stinger. If you want to have a female scroot, you can take this 2x2 two two with the one centered stud, brown plate, and then this web piece to create the sucker. I personally prefer it with the sucker, but both are fine. Sorry about that. So then next, we'll take this 2x2 two two plate and these two brown corner plates. As such, connect it with this brown round plate piece at the bottom, and put on a couple of these light gray one by ones with the the the, the nose. That's just how I think of it. But whatever you want to call it, then put on a couple of one by one clips, angle it so that they can both fit on here. There you go. And then you just connect this, these two clips into these two openings. And there, your scroot is done. If I can get it all in camera. There you... There you go. But of course, the scroot isn't all this model has to offer, as we also have a number of side builds. So let's move on to those now, shall we? So here are all the pieces you're going to need to build the flobber worm pen. So we'll start with this large curved 6x6 six six plate. Here at the back, we'll attach on um, this 1x4 with four studs. Tan, well, burnt orange 1x4 plate and a couple of 1x1 one one bricks. Actually, I made a goof. It does go fully in the back. And then we'll do a similar construct, but with a 1x3, a cheese slope, and then a couple of these pieces to illustrate some foliage. So now we have this square area for the pen. Flobber worm is just the little candle piece. To create a little feeding stick, just take this white paddle and attach on to the newer leaf piece. Oh, and then also put just put a leaf piece on the end. So yes, that's the flobberworm pen, but this area isn't complete. Now let's add on the bow truckle tree. So here are all the parts you're going to need to construct the bow truckle tree. Start with, we'll take one of these brown arched pieces. Put on a 1x2 with a clip hinge. At the back of this will attach a leaf. And then our bow truckle itself. And then this is where you would stick Ron's wand that it's stolen and is guarding. Set this off to the side for a moment. Take another one of these arch pieces, a black 1x2 Technic axle brick, 1x2 plate. Then we'll take a 
one by two with a clippy. This branch piece, one by two plate, one by three plate connected all together. We'll connect these two parts as such. Yeah, like this. Attach it like this. Angle this this way because that's why not. Put the wands in their respective. And I just realized I goofed. <laughs> it goes like this. So this was the correct orientation of this branch piece. Yeah, um, give me a second. Yeah, okay. And then at the back, just attach this white webbing piece. And there you go. So that's the full build for the Care of Magical Creatures class, outdoors class. But now let's move on to the last couple of small builds we have here. Okay, so starting on the left here, we have a small terrain build. Start with a 2x2 two two plate. Underneath, attach on another 2x2 two two plate and a 1x3 plate. Put on a leaf piece. Then use a green plant flower stock piece white cone and a red a dish to create a mushroom so that can just go over here then we'll take one by three plate two by two curve one by three curve and then make a mirror of this to create a couple of breakable bits of fence or fence gate then finally two by two with the hole in the middle flick missile cylinder lantern top to create a little light post oh and then you know you also get ronald weasley and harry potter and then some spiders so yeah that's this yeah yeah i don't really know what to do for the outro of this video i kind of just threw some things and i don't really feel like taking the time and effort to fix things to give this video a proper ending. So I think we'll just end off at a random moment. Uh, I don't know, maybe about now. Or now. Or maybe now. Or how about...